Okay, today's video is going to be a short one, but I wanted to go over IP version 6 and how this incorporates your MAC address into your IP version 6 address. So, your IP address is the address that you exist on on the internet. So, with IP version 4, we had um, a, s a series of numbers where it was between you know 0 and 255 uh, followed by a series of dots and other numbers uh, and what happened is is that we are running out of numbers so IP version 6 is out as a solution to that and you probably have an IP version 6 uh, address right now and I wanted to talk about MAC address tracking and how IP version 6 actually helps to uh, further identify you. So your MAC address, as I've mentioned in the past, is a unique identifier to your hardware, your network card identifier. Each piece of hardware has its own MAC address and in this case it's usually your Wi-Fi card that we are talking about. So what you see on the screen here is people walking around a shopping area. Uh, we have little beacons that are actually tracking them. Even if you don't connect to the public Wi-Fi, it doesn't matter. Just having Wi-Fi on on your phone or laptop is enough to pick up your MAC address. So just turn off your Wi-Fi anytime you go out in public if you're interested in maintaining your privacy. When you go into a store, when you give your name, uh, a lot of times a store will like to, or say Subway for example, will ask for your name uh, for whatever you may be purchasing. Uh, at that point, if they happen to have a MAC address tracking beacon set up, uh, they have your name and they also have your device. So anytime you then enter another area with those same Wi-Fi tracking beacons, you are then identified by your name and your device, even without giving your name to that new location. So as you can see, it shows a couple different shops. It shows the beacons and how they have their devices. This is an Android icon. There's a guy with an Apple here, another one. So first, after this, I want to show you uh, what it actually uh, looks like. So, so we have laptop here on the left. Uh, we have Ava's laptop. Here's what the beacons actually look like. This is beacons that are set up around locations in public places or in stores and those beacons will pick up your device even if you don't connect to the Wi-Fi. They don't even have to have a public Wi-Fi set up for this. So it logs all the MAC addresses and then at that point uh, it may log your face on the facial recognition. At that point it may tie the entire package together. You give your name for your sandwich, uh, your MAC address is picked up by the beacons and uh, your device is then tied to your face and your name at that point. So I wanted to go over this because it's a little known fact about IP version 6 uh, and so here we see a map where people actually an example map for example where someone is traveling say a MAC address tracking company has set up their beacons throughout the city uh, they have contracts with each different department store say they have a cloud based setup so when you are picked up and identified on one location, one store location with beacons, you are then therefore identified after every new place you happen to walk to. So this person has been tracked around the entire town. It's just an example of what could happen with MAC address tracking. And uh, next I want to go over real quick the IP version 6 identifiers. Uh, so what you have here at the top is your actual MAC address. It's a unique fingerprint address of your device. Uh, from here, you can see how by default it then is turned into the IP version 6 identifier. So it looks like a unique IP version 6 address, but in fact, someone can easily therefore determine your MAC address, your unique hardware fingerprint from that. So I think it's pretty important to know 
that this is out there. Um, not everybody has the best intentions in mind. Uh, and these sales uh, data aggregators are very aggressive in what they're doing. They are building large databases on everything they can compile because the more data, it's the new gold rush. The more data they can get on you, the more money they make. So this is something I wanted everyone to be aware of. Uh, your IP version 6 should be, if you care about your privacy, I would suggest disabling IP version 6, which you can do. I'll do another video on that, but uh, I'll also add the function to uh, the script Mac, cl Mac cleaner I wrote. So I'll have it disable IP version 6, um, just for anyone who has any concerns about that. Um, and I just wanted to go over this real quick because it isn't talked about very often and I think people should know more about MAC address tracking as I mentioned say you go into a subway or another restaurant uh, you give your name your MAC address is picked up by having Wi-Fi on and therefore you are then linked to your device and anywhere you go with your device suddenly you are recognized by your name if they have facial recognition then your face and so on so that's all I have today I just wanted to show you guys how this works and I will be back later with more videos on how you can protect your privacy so if you care about your privacy your MAC address privacy please turn off your Wi-Fi uh, just turn off Wi-Fi when you leave your home uh, and you shouldn't have any issues also turn off Bluetooth because these also use Bluetooth beacons to detect your MAC address for Bluetooth. Okay guys, that's all I have here. Please like the video, share it, and subscribe, and I'll be back later with more on protecting your privacy.